Hey everybody, welcome back. We had to take a quick, quick trip to the White House. And there at the White House, oh no, I got fingerprinted. Fingerprinted, oh no. This White House is actually the capital of Samar, which is in the uh, eastern side of the Visayas. We're living in Kabayu City, and we needed to go to the capital of Samar, which is Cap Logan. Now, there are a couple of different ways you can get from Kabayu City to Cap Logan. One, take a jeepney or bus. Two, take a motorcycle. Or three, take a boat. Well, we decided to take number four. Get in a van. This is Grand Tours. That one cost 150 pesos one way, and then another 150 the other way. Now, there are two reasons that we had to go to the capital city, uh, Kapilogan, and that was, one, we had to pick up our final marriage certificate. We got married last July, and things go slowly around here in the Philippines. And then, two, I had to go and uh, get fingerprinted and register for the uh, MBI, which is the National Bureau of Investigation. No, I didn't get in trouble here in the Philippines. I just have to go through this in order to get my permanent residence. So you have to have a background check and you have to be here at least six months if you have it done here. And so that's why we had to go to Capologan to have them do it. Now that we got the security clearance with the MBI completed and we finally picked up our final uh, uh, paperwork on our marriage, which was done last July. That now let's have a little bit of fun and kind of see a little bit of what uh, Kapilogan looks like, the capital of Samar. So it's really pretty. They got a beautiful park right here, um, like a couple of parks, and they're doing some construction in there too. So we took, uh, we stayed there during the day and kind of into the evening when the lights came on too. So you kind of see a little bit uh, of both right there uh, a couple of things that they have they have some exercise equipment that uh, you can work and we kind of played around so uh, enjoy the uh, view of the capital city oh there i am exercise one two three one two three oh that one didn't work so but we got uh, on the other one once it was free and there i am oh look at man i'm fat and I even took a little bit of time to uh, do some Tai Chi there in the park. Kind of speed it up so you guys won't fall asleep there. But uh, it was fun. Okay, here in the courtyard, they've got kind of a little tunnel, which is kind of neat. Uh, and they got a canopy over it. Um, they do have a food court right there, as you can see. Um, several different uh, little restaurants, cafes. I guess you would call it and that uh, a lot of people come here and just uh, hang out that's beautiful they got some lighted uh, uh, signs and everything you know kids playing uh, badminton dancing just walking just enjoying there's the food park right there uh, we uh, we ate there for lunch Okay, let's move out of the park in front of the capital and get into the streets of Kapilogan. This is morning time, so there's not much traffic going on. Uh, I'll show you a little bit here of what it looks like when there's traffic. And boy, I tell you, we don't, they don't have stop signs or stop lights or anything like that. It can get really hectic. You have to kind of go slow. There you go. I mean... This is the Philippines right there. That's what it's like driving. It's like everybody going to a jigsaw, jigsaw puzzle is what it is. But doesn't seem to have many accidents. We stayed at the GV Hotel in 800 pesos a night, which is about $18, something like that. They had a beautiful fountain and park right in front of the hotel. And guess what I caught my wife looking at? Let me show you what she's looking at. <laughs> I 
Uh huh, I caught her. They're all different colors, like that. Ay, 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 like that, though, the fountain. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that trip to Cap Blogan, and we're headed on back now. So we'll be going by rivers, streams, mountains, rice fields, and that just kind of give you a little bit of uh, sight what it looks like. This is around uh, Gandhara, and we actually had a motorcycle accident in that area. But um, that was uh, another story to tell another day. But I hope that uh, you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And uh, please comment. So it didn't take long to uh, get fingerprinted. And now we just sit there and wait until they get back the report for the investigation to see if I'm a bad guy or a good guy. And that. So uh, thank you very much. See you guys later. Bye. We're going to start adding Filipino words so that you guys can start learning before you come over here. Is that is the word for fish. Is that.